Hello everyone and welcome to part 8. This is Ilios Leonidas and this is our Byzantium playthrough. Um, we left off our last part in part 7. We had successfully taken some of these lands uh, from Ragusa and gave them to Serbia. And we actually vassalized Ragusa, which turned out to be a very horrible decision because I did not know that if you take someone as a vassal and they're being attacked and invaded by another country, you take on their wars. So we are now currently at war with Venice. The only slight positive out of this is Venice is the apparent only one we're at war with. Um, and that is really good because if we are fighting anyone other than Venice and all of its little allies, we would be in a lot of trouble. Well, um, so with that, we need to make some important moves. One important thing we at least have to our advantage is we can see everywhere where the Venetian Navy is. Um, as we can see, we have about 28 Venetian ships over here, two here in Venice, and then the other half of their fleet over here. But this half of their fleet is actually mostly their cogs. And I was looking over, yeah, this other Venetian fleet is most of their military forces. And we actually have our navy right here. The one advantage we do have in this war is we have much more uh, heavy ships, but we are at a huge numerical disadvantage though. Uh, one of the things I think I'll do right away is we're going to hire an admiral and he is not great, but he's not terrible. And we are immediately going to send um, what navy we have against that half of their naval forces. Um, and the reason we're doing that is because if we can at least knock out this half of their navy, that reduces their total number of ships, but also it should cripple completely Venice's ability to move troops, at least for a while. Military, we're going to figure out as we go, and let's get started. Let's see this first important battle. They actually escaped from us. Now we need to watch very carefully. They got away, unfortunately, that is really too bad so that means at least they've scurried away what we need to do in the meantime then is transport the remainder of our troops I believe we have some in here we need to get all of these troops out here onto mainland and we need to transport the remainder over here as well Albania is dealing with rebels we can hire Gain plus 10% morale. He's a Dutch reformer. We need to hire him right now. Um, this war is probably economically going to bankrupt us quite a bit. Um, and here's the Venetian army. It's about 20,000, so they do have the numerical advantage over us. The one thing we can keep doing is we are not in much debt right now. We only have one loan. So let's take out two. Sort of take out two loans. Uh, I'm going to do a gamble and we're going to mothball these forts over here in Anatolia and the hope that no one hopefully comes from that side. If High Liberty Zire and Ragusa, there's not much we can really do about it. We can just improve relations. We don't have anything else desperate to do right this second. And we're transporting all the remainder of our forces. So we have 22,000. So we do have the slight numerical advantage, um, but we are going to probably occur a lot of debt and we are definitely at a huge disadvantage when it comes to the Navy. And the only thing I'm going to try to pay attention to just a little bit is if we can hopefully catch some Venetian forces off guard and get a couple of cheeky little naval victories. Ragusa is taking over territory over there, which is good for us. Um, unfortunately, there is Bosnian rebels, but it appears that maybe, hopefully, Venice just had to fight them, which any bit will help us a lot. We're going to recruit a general. Uh, he's not too bad. He's not exactly what I wanted, but, you know, as long as it's not terrible, we can live with it. We're going to move our forces over here to see what's going on. I'm thinking, I don't know what happened to Ragusa. They must have lost the battle. Yeah, it appears they lost the battle. So 
So there is the Venetian forces. We're going to move our forces here. Let's get this out of the way. The ideal group, we're actually going to, I know I was waiting for this tech. Our tech's not going to be, I'll be done by July, uh, July of next year. So, oh, and the idea cost should cut it down. This should make mercenaries a little bit cheaper for us. That means we can hopefully maintain them for a little bit longer. Oh, and here comes the Venetian forces. I really... want to get Serbia and Ragusa with me. Just because of direct conflict, it would really not benefit us too greatly. We have rebels and Crimea, which is not great. We just lost track of that. So that's unfortunate up there. It's going to be an issue. But a good thing is that they are going to have to deal with that. We're going to take local goods. We need to, we need the money as desperately as we can. And I'm going to take a little bit of a gamble. Hopefully since they're over there sieging Macedonia, we can keep an eye out, make sure we see when they're coming. Hopefully we can siege down as many provinces as we can get just to build up some war score. It seems like they'll stay over there and they'll siege down Macedonia. Venice, their offer is to take a piece of land, so I'm willing, if we get out of this, to even lose Dubrovnik. I don't want to, but I'm okay with that. The last thing I want to do is lose any of territory I own, personally. Um, it would really, really annoy me, but also I think we can avoid that. We've occupied, luckily, all of these lands over here of Venice's. My only real hope is that maybe somebody else goes to war, but I think they just have too many... Too much stuff in their favor. They really don't have super strong allies, but I don't know if anyone really wants to mess with them is the problem. Venice keeps trying. Uh, no. And hopefully once we take Dubrovnik back from them, that would really hurt their war score. Uh, I'm so tempted if our navy was just a bit better, but I don't really want to pour in money we could use on troops on our navy because this conflict, you know, is right here. We don't necessarily need the strongest of navies in this situation. We're going to bring these troops down here. I do not want to split up our army too much just because if we can get them on even grounds, especially if our allies are with us, we should be able to win that war or that battle. They actually have two cannons, which is a bit of an advantage that we do not have. Oh, uh, they're, they're suing for a white piece. We are going to accept that just because this was really, really not a war I was expecting. And that makes me so happy that we're able to get out of this war without losing anything and without being too badly hit. I think if we had tried to have gone longer. We could have maybe have taken more land, but um, again, this conflict was not something I was hoping for or expecting, so not really prepared. Plus, while maybe military we might have gotten these forces, I, I'm really afraid of that Venetian navy, and I don't want to take them on at least too directly until we can build up a strong enough navy of our own. But once we get back to friendly territory, there we go. We're going to start taking all these mercenaries out. Um, we should be at peace for a little while, so hopefully, financially, we can start catching up again and repay back these kind of temporary loans that we took out really quickly. We do have... Uh, I wish I wouldn't have gotten rid of... We do have rebels, I forgot about that. 
but we are gonna have to deal with these rebels. Now, unfortunately, it's going to be a pain in the ass because I have a feeling once we start trying to move some over here, they are going to immediately shift over. Oh, they, they moved across, so that's perfect. So let's get troops over there do it in the far province, so hopefully they don't respond. Hopefully Genoa will take some of the brunt of uh, another wonderful EU4 event where you just lose stability no matter what you do. Um, this Macedonian province was huge. It bought us the time to desiege Dubrovnik, which kind of is what ultimately screwed Venice. And I was tempted to go further with that war. I just, again, unprepared and I'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't want to lose all we've gained in just the one unexpected war. So, looks like they just wiped out some more Genoan. They're about to wipe out some Genoan forces. The Ottomans are back. Oh, of course they are, because somehow this becomes an issue every 20 seconds. I just treat them. No one else is really that big of a problem. I mean, I'm sure it's the fact we do have a little bit of a high war score, but it just never stops sometimes with these rebellions to like a ridiculous level. Ooh, so Kamaran has cored some of our, our made claims on some of our territory and we're going to return the favor. Especially since we have such a, a broad border with them, we're going to try to kind of get back at them. So this is perfect. Um, I kind of forgot about it for a little bit just because of the situation we had unfolding. But we're going to build an alliance with QQ, which is perfect because now we have a nice strong alliance. And once we kind of get back on our feet, that's going to be a great ally that could really enable us to attack Karaman or the AQ pretty easily. Just sieging down this fort up here. How are we doing? So we're still pretty slow getting back. Let's decrease our navy. We don't need it right this second. Now we have two vassals. Uh, Rusa is starting to like us. I think my goal with Ragusa is going to feed them some of these coastal provinces. I'm going to repay a loan. We can invest in another idea. Years of separatism, that's actually pretty good. We are behind in tech though, I believe. Yeah, and we're, we're so far in Diplotech. I'm, we're going to hold off that separatism would be great. We'll take it once we can, but first we're going to get that tech. See, ideally, if I can build up a better navy, what we want to do is trap the Venetian forces like how they are right there. We want to trap them on Harsh Tree. Uh gonna have to harsh treat them. Uh, ideally what we need to do is build up a strong enough navy that's even stronger than Venice so we can trap them either on one of these islands or we can trap them on Venice itself and kind of ravage the rest of their territories. This Ottoman situation is just unreally bad. And what I do not get is uh, just it's ridiculous how fast and how often the Ottomans just constantly rebel and try to reform. Okay, is this rebel situation taken care of? Yeah, I'm not accepting those demands for sure, but um, it appears no, unfortunately. Well, we're going to take half this army and bring it over here, though. 
because I am really, really sick of these Ottoman rebels. So we can gain national unrest, we can still lose a little bit of money. Let's see if this has calmed down. Calmed it down a bit. Be nice to have more of our forces over here, but we'll take what we can get type thing. I'm guessing that's our army maintenance is starting to go really high. What we're gonna do is get rid of, as we're recovering more manpower, we're gonna get rid of some of these excess troops that we have. And Genoa's got their own Ottoman rebels, and I'm sure they're gonna wonderfully walk into my territory very soon. Which is just absolutely wonderful. We're gonna unmothball that fort. We're gonna execute this bailiff because we don't want to lose stability right now. Ah, uh, yep, and here comes the wonderful Ottoman rebels coming into my territory. The great thing so far, at least about these Crimean rebels, though, is they have been exclusively targeting Genoa. And it seems like Genoa will hopefully end up being the ones to deal with them. We're going to move. Yeah, this is why we're moving our troops over really quickly. It's just about to get attacked. And luckily, we are a-OK. -okay. Uh, we had an interesting beginning. Unfortunately, we didn't really get too much out of that Venice war, but again, that was kind of a surprise defensive war that I wasn't expecting. I'm just glad we made it out without losing anything or getting torn apart. Perfect, we can take this tech. We get a new idea group and we're going to go straight for influence because we get plus 25 income 25% income from vassals. We reduce their liberty desire. We get this debt blow annex cost reduction. And we get one more diplomatic relation. And what's perfect right now is we are ahead by quite a bit on dip tech. And I'm willing to invest a good amount of our dip tech for the time being into our influence ideas. Um, I forgot that we were doing this and I think I accidentally hit the wrong button. I wanted to build a spy network and instead I accidentally started improving relations. But that's alright, we know we caught it at least. Um, okay, this is not doing good. We need to bring these troops over here. Just in case. These Ottomans are getting closer. We're going to harsh... We're going to harsh treat uh, these Ottomans again. I hate, again, wasting that dip tech, but it puts it quite a ways back at least. We're going to take this idea, which is great. Also, once we are able to get this repopulation of the countryside, that manpower modifier is awesome as well. See, the one good thing is if we would have done a little bit more, we wouldn't have to fight some of these littler forces that are kind of allied with Venice, but uh, I'm not one to risk it. I didn't want to risk our entire progress just on that, so I really want you to go away, mechanic, please. Um, what tech are we behind most? Either mill or admin. Let's see. Wow, Wallachia has even gone ahead of us. But we're not too bad. Dip, they have nine. Venice is actually one of the more tech 
advanced countries. Let's... We can keep it here, actually. Uh, I feel like it's a decent spread. Plus, I don't want to degrade our dip tech too much, just because I do want some advancements in it to pour into this. Uh, and then what our next one is going to pour our admin into indirect rule. A minus 10 separatism is great. Cultural ties is good if I want to promote cultures. I kind of... I, I will, I think, eventually, but I kind of don't. Like, I, I don't feel like it's really as convenient and as useful for us. Age of Discoveries ending. I'm suffering casualties. It's fine. Is there... Those rebels are gone. Okay, that's perfect. So we're kind of back to a more stable thing. We're going to take all of these forces back across and put them on Anatolia. That way we can stop some of these um, Ottoman rebels from popping up. In a hypothetical war here, we can get Wallachia on our side, but unfortunately... Ooh. We actually... We actually, I think, might go for Karaman because their ally is not willing to assist them. Plus, now we have all of our troops over here. And Wallachia will join, no questions asked. We can't get anyone else to join, but Wallachia alone will supply 13k. And I'm sure Karaman's forces are not really strong enough to deal with us. So we're, which province do we want to... Let's do Sauron over here, that way it's a little bit closer to us as well. And we are going to declare that war. Our navy will bring out, we're gonna take it slow for just a second, bring them into the Aegean first. So we're gonna want to try to carpet siege as much as we can. I am pretty positive that they yeah, it looks like they do not have a real strong army. So this could be perfect for us to kind of gain a ton of territory. Okay. I'm going to bring the ship over here to the Gulf of Cyprus. I'm going to have you come down, have you come over, and have you go to tech. I have yet to see their army, which does worry me a little bit, but I think that just might mean that they really don't have one as well. Let's look at our potential peace deal. What I'd love to do, I'm sure this would be way too much. Yeah, the Mamelukes, AQ, Crimea. It's too much of a coalition to, to form on me, but I would love to take a absolute ton of land, especially land away from potentially rivals like the Mamelukes. Especially because I'm afraid if I don't get enough land that they'll come up and try to take advantage of a very weakened uh, state. So we'll send these troops north, Isil. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this war. Uh, not nearly as nervous as I was. That's where their army is, okay. So we'll just bring these trees back down. Don't wanna... No, we don't wanna go north. Bring these troops north to take care of that province. And we are looking pretty good. Um, do we have a... Yeah, we do have a general at least. We're gonna keep an eye out, we're gonna respond. Luckily, we're gonna gain stability off of that. This force cannot take that, plus they're too far away, so I'm worried about. Okay, so they're going to Teke, which 
We're gonna want all of our forces to come down here and hopefully all of our allies are gonna join as well. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, they're going up too. Oh, go ahead. I'm totally fine with them engaging. Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of disadvantage, but we should be able to get us and all of our allies in. Yep, and perfect for us as far as kind of crushing them. I'm gonna send half of our army up north here. We have an entire southern coast that's not occupied by us uh, being blockaded. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. They are regaining kind of their strength down here. I wonder, it's just us with war with them right now. So I can call an ally to war, Circassia. Circassia does have four. Okay, um, you know what, yeah, I don't, I think I will ever really call them in, and they're not really big enough to help out too much elsewhere, but calling them in right now might be helpful. As if they actually did anything, but uh, they seem to be stuck down there, so. Can lose legitimacy. I hate these events. Uh, we're gonna lose the stability. My hope actually is if they go try to cross the street. That's perfect. I'm gonna take my ship actually up there. I'm gonna blockade so this army should be trapped away from all the other armies. Which is perfect because we'll go down here and take a bit. No, no, we want you to come fight them. Okay, hopefully we got them trapped. Yep. We're gonna wipe out another 4k of theirs. See, while we may have not gotten much out of the Venetian War, Luckily, since we have enough troops and we're in okay shape, we're able to definitely take some other stuff. Let's do Miltech. We can invest into an idea. Might as well. How we get closer to that. Take half our army. They're really going to try to just siege down as many of their provinces as quickly as possible. Coalition may form. Um, it's just two countries at least, but still wouldn't be great. I'm worried because I, I'm fearful after this war they may kind of ally up. The biggest thing is okay. I really I don't care that much about that province, but I do want all of these coastal provinces. This is tempting because I want Cyprus eventually, and these provinces would be nice as well. That in of itself would probably get a huge coalition formed against me. Um, we are okay as Byzantium as far as no one really... Yeah, we're not in too dire straits with aggressive expansion right now, but I'm sure after if we took that much land and that much area, we probably have a lot of issues. So we're going to hopefully siege out the rest of these. Hopefully the no rebels come over a little our way while we're over here, especially with these little divided forces, but we're looking okay. Alliance breaking with Georgia. Um, I don't really care that much. Uh, I'm for, well, rural manager for now. Just it doesn't hurt to have it. I would be totally fine if we break, unfortunately.
so hey everyone we just had a cut here uh, unfortunately we experienced our first crash of this playthrough and we had to pick up where we last saved off at the end of one of our parts um we i saved it right before i, I did a peace deal uh so luckily we can we still won our war versus Karaman, uh, but we have to now peace out again. We take all of this, we get uh, up to 77 aggressive expansion. We only take 47 overextension, which is important. We do not want an event to fire. Usually all of the events I believe around 50 or so so we're gonna try to avoid that i believe it's the only uh, i'm pretty sure it's the only yeah we have no overextension now so we should be fine if we take this um what else are we going to try to take we could make them release some nations we could have them in all treaties None of that's super important. And that's not really helpful. Neither is this little small state. So we're not going to really have them give up anything. We can take a ton of money from them, which is absolutely perfect. That will help us with our loan situation. We might be able to pay back all three of our loans potentially. Um, and we get a good amount of land out of this. And we'll get the southern coast of Anatolia. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to connect their land, and the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm afraid I don't want to do something like this where I have another even separate little enclave. But if I do this, I'm really afraid Afraid the Mamluks will try to take this, um, especially off of a weakened Kamara. So we're going to take this for now. We'll have this entire stretch to land on just in case if we have rebels or anyone invades from the southern area. So we're going to accept this peace offer. We're going to advance a little bit, and there we have it. We just successively took them out. Um, we are dealing with some overextension um, and some rising threats, but that should kick off September 1st. So we should be able to handle it. But we'll have to see as we go. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I apologize for kind of a little cut in there. We just had to deal with that crash. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you like the content of the channel, please subscribe. Look forward to doing the next part. We'll see if we can expand even more. Well, thank you so much. Have a great day, night, week, whatever it may be. And ciao for now.